Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a long shadow effect like this in PowerPoint which is fully customizable so you can have any text you want and you can have it as different colors all of which look very nice. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So all we need to do is open up a new presentation in PowerPoint as usual and we're going to change the layout to blank. We're also just going to input our text box and write whatever I want. So I'm just going to write long shadow as that's what we're doing today. But of course, you can write whatever you'd like. Now what we would want to do is get the text box and then change the font to Poppins. I just think this one looks the best, but you can choose whichever you like. I just think this one works a lot better. We're going to change the text to center and go shape format align center align middle to get it perfectly in the center of our slide we can also size up a bit and just align the text to the middle okay so this is good and now what we're going to do is use a shortcut which is Control d this is basically Control c and Control v put together so we're going to go Control d while selecting the text obviously now you're going to try and align it there and it should have these red dotted lines so that it aligns perfectly with the text that we created earlier. We let go and then we click the right arrow once and the down arrow once. This means it's one pixel down and one pixel to the right. It's quite hard to see but you might be able to sort of see especially if you've got it in like a full screen mode but it's fine. All we're going to do now is hold down on Control D until we go off the slide. So it might lag your PowerPoint a bit, but this is how you create the long shadow. So as you can see, it's being elongated out, which actually looks pretty cool, but we're just gonna wait for it to get off the slide and you can see it's sort of lagging my PowerPoint a bit. But once we're done, once we're finished, it won't be laggy at all. It's just that we've got so many objects in PowerPoint. So that's sufficiently far enough off our PowerPoint. And now what we're going to do is just go arrange here, selection pane. So we get this selection pane and you can see we got all these text boxes. Now use the scroll bar to go all the way to the bottom and then hide the first text box that we created. So that all this is going to do is just make sure that we can't select that first text box, which is going to be our text. So if you watch my previous video or one of my previous videos on creating this cool custom cropping, um, which you can now do in PowerPoint, you'll know there's something in shape format called merge shapes and that's what we're going to be using today and if you haven't seen that obviously you can go and watch that later because it looks really cool as well so just highlight everything you can see it's like a whole block of gray because like there's so many objects but that's fine we're just going to go to shape format to the right here merge shapes and union so this will make sure our powerpoint stops lagging and it'll just be one object so let's just select union and you can see this is an entire shape on its own now what's cool about this union is that you can actually customize it by changing the fills here and things. It's acting just like an object, except it's a fully customizable shadow here. Now we can unhide our text box. You can, you might have been able to see it just appeared there. And all we're going to do is highlight that, go shape format, bring to front. Now we're also going to select our object. This just makes it a lot better and you can just move up a bit and move it to the side a bit if you wanted to align it a bit but I'm just going to keep it where it is as that would also work well. So we're now going to choose our colour scheme for this. We're just going to go into the design and format background tab. Let's start off with the most simple one which is just white, black and grey as our colour scheme. So the way this is going to work is our text is going to be a light grey so I'm going to choose the lightest grey for it which is let's choose the second lightest grey here. Now you can already see the shadow is coming into effect. We've got this here, but we're actually gonna create a gradient fill for that. But before we do that, let's format our background by going solid fill and then choosing one of these. We want it either much lighter or a bit darker than our text. So what we're going to choose is this darkest gray here. And now what we're going to do is create a gradient fill for our shadow. We're going to go gradient fill and we're gonna choose linear. Now change your angle to 270 and this should make it fully customizable here. So what we're going to do is we've got the darkest bit at the top, so that's black in our case, 
and we're going to change this bit at the end to this middle grey-ish. So you can see if we go into our slideshow, this is our first shadow. Now let me show you how to custom customise this. So if we go escape, now we click on our shadow, go right click and go duplicate slide. What we can do is we've actually got colour schemes all over here in our PowerPoint. So let's start off with green. So we can see if we select our long shadow that when we did it, we chose the second one. So if we go over here, we can choose the second one here. Now go back to the background. You just need to follow the same horizontal line and we're just going to choose the second one here, the, the last one here. And then for the shadow, we will also follow the line and choose this one here. Now this might look a bit dark, so we can change the background obviously because it's fully customizable. It's a bit light and that's a bit dark. So what we can do is go more colors and I'll come up with this and we can choose a middle ground. Does that look quite nice? So that's our second shadow. I'll show you one more and then I'll and then you can go away with it yourself and choose whichever color scheme you like. Also, since you've watched all the way here, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this. So for our last color scheme, we're not actually going to use these color schemes as you know how to use those and you could get it to be blue, red or, or yellow. But we're going to use these standard colors as those are some of the ones that a lot of people would like to use. So let's use yellow as an example. And we're just going to change all of these to be yellow. So we're going to change the text to also be yellow and change the shadow to also be yellow. You can see this actually creates quite a cool effect because you're sort of getting the, the word from the shadow, but that's not what we want to do today. So we're going to change the background as before to be a bit darker than our, our other our, our text, basically. So let's make it like there, just like a gold almost. And we're going to change the text to be a bit lighter. We're going to go more colors and make it a bit lighter. And we can leave our shadow as it is. So that's how you use the color schemes in PowerPoint to create a long shadow effect. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, as I said earlier. You can find out how to make cropped images in PowerPoint with this tutorial right here. And make sure to subscribe before you go onto that with this button here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.